What's up, you guys? It's me, Sai, with part... Oh my God, where, where are we? Part three to this whole um, series or documentary, what do you want to call this? Uh, getting your 335i painted. If you guys didn't see my first video, go check that out. Today, what I'm going to do is pretty much just run you guys through all the flaws on the car. Because, you know, some people are probably looking at the other videos like, Hey, what are you getting the car painted for? It looks perfectly fine. So I'm going to show you guys what all, all the damage on the car and what's going to be repaired and also i'm gonna prep the cars to make my bot make it easier for my body guys since he's giving me a good deal on this i'm just gonna do, uh, do the little stuff to help him out a little bit like take the brake light off take the bmw emblems off and then i already took the spoiler off and then i'm gonna take the passenger side uh side skirts off today uh because I, there's a little small rust patch which is really weird because these cars don't get rusty so I'm thinking that side of the car has been repaired before and it just wasn't repaired properly and the rust is starting to bubble up from the previous work but we'll see and that will give me opportunity to test the M3 side skirts and then obviously this will be a two-in-one you guys get to see if the side skirts actually fit from eBay or if they don't and it's a great way for me to try it on before it gets painted. Uh, so let me. The car looks mint from like videos I post previously because it's far away, but you can see. I don't know what happened there, but it was hit. And when I got the car, I kind of lifted it up a little bit because there was no gap to begin with. So since, you know, this is the only flaw in this HUD, we're going to try to save it by just, I guess, pulling this out a little bit more and using some filler to kind of make it look new. Um, but you can't really tell because the paint is so glossy, but there's a lot of hill damage on the hood. Um, this quarter panel needs to be done. You can see there's a whole dent right here, which is the most annoying out of all the damage on the car. This is what annoys me the most. I could probably have someone do it like a dent removal, but then it's so much like dent, like hail dents on top. Like you can see there, there. We have this thing right here. If you look up close, I don't know what happened. I think they tried to put down the convertible one day and there was probably something in the trunk and it really bent this roof right here. And if you see, it's so shiny, the car. That you can't see but this whole trunk is filled with hail damage took out the spoiler already there's tons of like dents like this all over the bumper so it's like you know what i'm gonna get a new bumper you got dents right here just like this whole entire side of the car is so wavy like people are just opening the doors up and it's like annoying in a way so let's hope he can get this panel really straight it's scary taking your car in because you see those cars with wavy looking panels like i don't want my car to end up like that uh but yeah i'm gonna take the emblems out today the spoilers out already the third brake light's gonna be taken off uh already got the kidney grills taken off and then i just take this side off this side skirt just to test it out this is where it's just bubbling a little bit you can see that rust which scares me Hopefully it's just surface rust. We'll know. We'll see. Like, but I I could tell this this panel was done done over. Didn't notice when I first bought the car, but you can actually see the DA marks. Like they didn't they did a good job straightening this panel out, but it's just like you can actually see they didn't finish the filler right. I don't know who did this previously, but that needs to be worked on. I mean the finish. The gloss finish on this is beautiful, but like the bodywork, they did horribly on. So, I mean, I can even do a better job. Uh, so let's get to it. I gotta make sure I watch because I got my cat out here. Okay, this is probably not the proper way to do it, but I bought a whole um, plastic pry set for when I replaced the head unit on this car. And you know what's cr always crazy? You buy stuff and when you need it you can't find it and when and when you don't need it it magically pops out of nowhere so we're just gonna take this flathead screwdriver and try to pry it this way they say you can use a fishing line to actually break down the 
uh, adhesive in here. I've done that already. So I'm just gonna carefully go in here. Ah! It's off, but it's damaged, you guys. So that is a waste. That's okay, new paint job. New everything, right? And judging by uh, whoever painted this car last, didn't take the emblems off because <laughs> you can see the paint difference. The circle is a bright red and then the paint they use on this car looks like a darker red actually. So they didn't even match the color properly. So I'm glad I'm, glad I'm doing this because I'm finding out a lot more about this car. All right, the flathead method works. You just have to put tape around it so you don't scrape your paint. And you are gonna end up scraping the emblem. So uh, you're probably gonna need to buy a new one, to, a new one. And that sucks because this is original. Not original, but this is probably old, like OEM. If I wasn't picky, I definitely can put it back on. But these aren't that much anyway so i'm just gonna buy a new one but the oem ones are probably better quality versus the cheap replica ones that are probably gonna fade over time can already tell that it had previous work done not like not the average you know the average person wouldn't be able to tell but i could just tell like the side skirts came from some, uh, another donor car so the side skirts look a little bit darker. One fender, like, look a little odd. Like, that fastener fender looks a little bit darker. And there's some areas in the car that seems a brighter red. Um, the car has probably had like a blend job before or something like that. Um, but you never know buying, you know, these used older cars, you never know, like, um, the Carfax history is not always true, you know. Well, most of the Carfax history is true, but what about those, you know, those things, uh, those repairs that were not done at a shop or done at a shop that don't report to Carfax and stuff? Uh, this one's out. Uh, broke it so um, probably gonna order new ones tonight so by the time the car is done I can replace those I'm getting ready to take off the side skirt god damn it's sunny so this little panel comes off on the top of the side skirts and then there's a bunch of clips that you take off I don't know what these clips are called this is not a tutorial I'm just gonna do it there's tons of tutorial online and let's pray there's no type of holes or collision underneath the side skirts that they hid. But we'll see. Only times will tell. So these are OEM. All right, let's inspect this this area. You know, the average Joe is not gonna be able to know. And you know, it's like when you buy used cars, there's a lot of hidden things. And the longer you, you the longer you own it, the more you learn. And, and you learn that people hack stuff, and you learn that some people shouldn't be touching stuff. You know, certified or working at a shop or not you know sometimes it's nice to just do things yourself because you know you're getting it done right so this is where the bubbling is happening right here i'm not sure if that's common but i've never seen rust i've never seen rust on the three series ever but well, leave a comment down below if you guys have rust you notice this they probably grinded this area they start, probably started grinding this area and kind of like the grinder probably slipped and they grinded that area it would have been nice if they sprayed primer on it and something now it's starting to rust 
So that should be covered up with something before it starts rusting. You, you look up close, you can see the tape line of where it's painted. I mean, they did a good job, but you can see the DA sand marks right there from probably the body filler. Uh, primer marked right here. So this panel has definitely been worked on before. I don't know why they didn't work on this area too. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try on the M3 size skirts real quick because it looks like it's gonna rain. So I gotta wrap this video up. Okay, this is how it looks. Ah, that looks so good, you guys. Now, I don't know how to rate the fit yet because honestly, it's just held on by the door. But what I'm seeing so far looks good. Uh, this gap, I'm not sure if this gap's gonna be here or not, or if it's fully in, but super happy with it. I even like it black like that, but I can't wait to see it painted. So good, you guys. I thought it was lower than that, the size skirts, but hopefully this gap is not there. This needs to be lifted up a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, that's the fit, you guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. Probably gonna film a little bit of me taking the third tail light off, but I'm literally done for today. Um, yeah, that looks good. Yes. the last thing I had to do this freaking rain is trying to outshine my day of working on this car there's no clouds under me I don't I don't know how it's raining all right we're gonna have to put this car in the garage All right, last thing to come off. I rushed everything because it started to rain. But uh, in the mix of prying this off, this broke off. And this already started breaking off originally. That's how it was when I bought it. But this, this um, the, the, I guess the outline of the tail lights have um, this adhesive in it and that's what was preventing it from coming off it's probably a sealant too and I believe this is original and LED so this is probably not gonna be cheap replacing so I might just go ahead and glue it back on like that and just reinstall it because I can guarantee you this light replacement right here is probably like five hundred dollars or something you know how bmw prices are but uh, i got that off all you have to do is unbolt it like this this is a eight millimeter i believe and then i guess if you want to prevent from cracking the lens you probably want to heat up this adhesive to pry it off and don't do what i did but yeah this is the last thing i'm gonna take off for him and then probably gonna wipe down the car quick and then we're gonna drop the car off tomorrow so I'll see you guys in part four.